making small talk and everything about yeah this wow this you know Omicron is really out of control blah 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 and I said you know um, what do you think about you know the kids are probably all under five so they don't have to get vaccinated and then she started telling me that that she wishes they could get vaccinated it turns out they're all tested and they're all testing positive with this Omicron and uh, most of them are not symptomatic but some of them are they do have fevers and they're do they're saying like um, you know miss so-and-so I don't feel good and then they go home as long as they're over like 109 temperature or something like that it was just really surprising to me that these kids are getting it um, and there's a couple who are actually like actually really sick and what they're considering like they've got two full classrooms that aren't coming in in a daycare like under five years old and um, they're not sick, but they're they're not even symptomatic, but they tested positive, and so they've got to stay home. I, I didn't want to ask her to go on video, but it's just blowing my mind that they're dealing with this in, in a, a little nursery school, you know. Uh, a friend just went in the hospital with it. Um, same guy, I was, t I was just talking to him yesterday. Him, his wife, and son have it he got steroids and oxygen and um, he's in the hospital and you kind of feel like oh good you know he's taken care of well we're just praying and praying and praying and praying because you know hopefully it is good it, it's got to feel good to him to get oxygen to have these steroids but dear God I pray that that's all it is um, things are canceling all over the place I'm talking to riders who uh, a waitress she said all of her customers canceled for New Year's Eve uh, I talked to the last lady said that she's just gonna stay home because the restaurant that they were going to go to called them and canceled um, I don't know it's just wow these times that we're in and you know what occurred to me the other day is at least I'm not bored I know that sounds crazy it sounds like really really selfish but it is not boring. These times are not boring, and I feel like I'm living a movie or a book or something. And, you know, it's it's exciting, but it's scary. Um, I'm in the middle of a book. It's, it's the 29th of December. We expected it to be completely gone or something. Not this. This new variant, it took over like that. I, I think it was like we had the first cases um, we had the threat from South Africa one day the next day we had two cases the next day oh it's been spotted in all of these states and then the next day it was like 50 states and then it completely took over 750 US flights have been canceled as the airlines dig out this is a sign of continuing stress as the industry tries to emerge from that days long meltdown ahead of the New Year's holiday weekend the problems began to mount the day before Christmas. Air carriers contended with staffing shortages driven by the fast spreading of Omicron variant and fall weather too. COVID cases are soaring in New York with nearly 70,000 new positives reported in a single day. New Jersey too broke another single day count. Small businesses, especially the restaurant biz, being hurt by the Omicron variant in Brooklyn. Money-wise states will raise their minimum wage in the new year. 